Talks Dear Luke here, in this video I'm going to be looking at the crew bag by Also Finesse and showing you why it's my favourite storage solution for detailing on the move. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon to be alerted of all future videos. The crew bag is priced at a very reasonable £40 and comes complete with a carrying strap. Build quality is very good with the zips being very smooth and the handles made up of a soft neoprene style material. The overall finish of the stitching is good with no loose or frayed ends and the main material of the bag seems to be made up of the rather hard wearing polyester type material. Finally on the front we have a huge auto finesse logo which is embroidered to a high standard. Overall I really like the look of this bag. It looks smart, stylish and professional at the same time without costing a fortune. The pockets tend to be more of a rounded shape and are ideally suited to hold Auto Finesse's 500ml bottles. No surprise there. However, whilst rounded bottles fit the best, I still found that most of my other 500ml square bottles from the likes of Auto Glim and Meguiar still fit well. We also have a couple of larger pockets that will fit 1L products like Aqua Coat and Citrus Power. The actual pocket material itself is thick and padded and is a welcome change from the mesh style pockets that we see in most detailing bags. There's also some elasticated straps on the ends of the bag that can accommodate a set of detailing brushes, as well as more elasticated straps inside the pockets to secure smaller objects. For reference, in this bag here I have my Aqua Deluxe drying towel, 6 microfiber wash mitts, a citrus pre-wash, silica spray sealant, wheel cleaner, exterior detailer, tyre gel, snow foam, glass cleaner, shampoo and an all-purpose cleaner. I still have room left over for some microfiber towels or a couple of more cleaning chemicals and there's even room for my morning wood which easily gets swallowed up. Useful as well is a small mesh pocket that is on the underside of the main zipper. Whilst not immensely practical it is useful enough for store my tyre dressing sponge or few air fresheners. On the outside, we have a split pocket on the front which due to the bag's unstretchy material is not able to hold a great amount and the same can be said for the pockets at the side but it's still adequate for brushes or a flashlight. On the back there's one more pocket that seems to fit the Auto Finesse catalogue perfectly, something I'm sure Auto Finesse fans will take delight in. Just to finish this off, I want to quickly show you what I keep in my other bag. I like these so much I bought two of them and I'm going to buy a third one to store my interior products. The second bag really just contains paint correction stuff. There's loads of space for my DA polisher, compounds, pads, sanding discs, microfiber towels and paint protection and I'm still able to fit in an extension cord and a small 3 inch polisher if I wanted. Unfortunately, Auto Finesse have stopped their referral links so I can't get you 10% off any more of their products. I've left a link in the description to Amazon though, although you don't get discounts I would kindly ask if you're thinking of buying this bag to use my referral link since I'll get a small commission from Amazon that really helps fund my channel but most importantly you still pay the exact same price as if you would if you just went directly to Amazon's homepage. Anyway thank you for watching, if you want to see more content like this please consider hitting that subscribe button and bell notification icon but until next time see you soon and take care.